Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's video for Photoshop, we're going to take a look at how we can optimize our PNG files for using online. Now PNG24 gives you the control over masks and keeping transparency and a load of different things that make working with these images great. But the problem you have with that is that they tend to be very, very large files. So I'm going to show you a little tip to create good quality PNG24 files and reduce the file size on them to make them considerably smaller when you're working online. So let's see how we can do it. Okay, so I've got a pretty detailed PNG file open. I've resized it to the size that I want and I'm now ready to save it. So I'm just going to use the option to go file, export, and we'll say quick export as PNG. Now we can do this and we have no real control over what happens with this PNG file. There's no way we can adjust the settings and things, but then you can't do that in the save for web option. So this is going to save out a typical PNG file. All the transparency, everything we need is saved in there. And I've now saved that. And if we take a look in the folder, you can see that this PNG file is just under or just over half a megabyte in size. Now, just for one image, that's a little bit large. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little online facility that's free that you can use to reduce the size of PNG files while retaining the transparency and retaining all the effects you have with your PNG file. You can download the uh, plugin version of this for about $20, I think it is, but the free online version allows you to do as many files as you want. You can batch upload about five at a time. So let's take a look at what we can do with that and how it works. Okay, so the website is tinypng.com. And as its name suggests, it allows us to reduce the file sizes. So all we need to do is drag and drop our PNG file onto this little area. Like I said, a maximum of 20 images per time and five megabytes each. And that will then compress those for us and gives the option to re uh, resave it. So I'll just drag that up, drop it on there. That's gonna go through and crunch some numbers. As you can see, we're starting off with 573 kilobytes or just over half a megabyte. And that's gonna reduce that down by 70%. So that's dropping it down to 173K, which is still quite large, but still a 70% saving to keep all the transparency effects in place. So we can just download that. That'll download through to my downloads folder. And if I just go and open that up, and we compare the two, you can see we've gone from 561 kilobytes down to 169. So considerably smaller. If we open that up, you can see it still looks pretty good. Can't tell the difference between the two. So I hope you found this little tip for reducing the size of your PNG files useful. If you have, please subscribe to our channel, comment on the video below, hit the like button, it all helps. And if you've got any comments or feedback or any tutorials you'd like to see in the future, please leave those in the comment section and we'll take a look at creating those for you. Until next time, happy Photoshopping.